Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about band in Finland. Finland is a country in Northern Europe. It's bordered by Russia and Sweden. It has a population of about five and a half million, roughly the size of the state of Minnesota. And even though it's a small country, it has a really rich tradition of wind band, specifically military band. To help us understand more about the wind band in Finland, I've enlisted the help of Sami Rusevoir, the chief conductor of the Helsinki Police Band. Yeah, thank you. It's a uh... It's really great to be in your YouTube channel. So my name is uh, Sami Rusuvuori, nowadays chief conductor of Polish Symphonic Band, and uh, and before that I was uh, I was conductor in a military band, guards band, Polish president's band in Finland. I hope you guys caught that. Sami used to be the conductor of the president's band in Finland, the premier military band in the entire country. In Finland, we have like five professional wind bands, four in army and one in police. Yeah, I was like uh, eight years in army and now I have been eight years uh, in police. We have about 250 bands, so not so many. Finland's band system exists almost entirely out of the schools. Each community has a band system that they run and there are multiple level ensembles that you work your way through. In fact, Sammy's son is currently working his way through that community system. So he started playing saxophone last year when he was six, so quite uh, quite young. But uh, he's now in music music school. He gets uh, private saxophone lessons once in the week. It's about one hour. It's only he and his teacher. And uh, now he will start also uh, wind orchestra. It's once in the week, maybe one hour. And in his music school, there is four different level wind bands. And of course, he starts number one. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> year after year, he will get go to better level band. And that's how it is. They are like community bands uh, or bands from, uh, maybe, maybe you could say community bands, uh, like adult bands, if, if I'm so. So we have that also after schools or after university, if you are still playing if it's still your hobby you can go to that kind of bands but we don't have so many of those almost not at all <laughs> as you know in in europe um, or in finland we don't play american football mm -hmm. so in in european football culture we don't have wind band or marching band so so there is not that culture of course the military bands they are having parade parades and uh they are doing figures and um, we have also really great beautiful uh festival uh hamina tattoo it's like military festival and like uh, next year there's from us japan namibia canada france and etc so that's really big festival but uh, almost only for military bands in military and police band, um, you could say that we have three different kind of concerts. We play symphonic wind band music. Then the second would be more or less this, this kind of entertain music concerts. Like uh, very often we have pop singers or opera singers as a, a soloist. And third one is uh, ceremony music. Sammy and I spoke at length about how in the orchestral tradition, conductors go from group to group and they bring the music of their country with them. Likewise, in the United States, band directors go from band to band, whether it's through honor bands, region bands, or being guest conductors, to spread music to other areas. Unfortunately, due to the rigor and the demanding schedule in the military bands, this doesn't happen a lot in the European military band tradition. Sammy is working to bridge that gap that the military bands in Europe have, specifically as it relates to awareness of other cultures' repertoire. Around the world, all this, uh, almost all, symphonic wind bands they have been under army or police so we don't know so well music but they have what they have playing in switzerland or spain or so on so actually i'm doing at this moment i'm doing uh, doctoral studies in sibelius academy and my title is uh, symphonic european wind band music from 1900 until nowadays so i have been visiting almost every european countries and meeting their like uh, Kaleb Schumann or Sami <laughs> Rusevoor, <Yeah. laughs> and uh, those conductors and professors and uh, publishers, they have recommended me 30 best symphonic wind band, wind band music wow. from, their, from their country 
and uh, I'm doing website, how you call it, uh, catalog to website. Yeah. Uh, Jukka Linko, Aulis Sallinen, Timo Forst from Jukka Pekka Lehto, Juha Pisto, etc. So, so I'm very proud about uh, Finnish symphonic wind band music. Uh, in the last 20, 30 years, they have started to co compose a lot about that. And that's, that's really great. So when I have been in the US and I have, I have been listening to uh, your ensemble playing, it's, uh, it's really, really, really high. But maybe individual level for the players, it's, it's, it's not the same level as it in, in Europe. So I think that uh, it, it, it could be something between. <laughs> yeah, right. If, 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 in, if in US the players could get also some individual lessons, the level would be even even better. I think that whole your school music system, yeah, it's really great in the US that uh, American people know so well wind band music. Perhaps the most unique thing that I learned about the Finnish wind band system is the use of the brass septet. Sammy talks about the military influence and the brass band influence that goes to making the septet a unique part of Finnish band culture. So there's one very, very unique thing um, in uh, Finnish wind band tradition. You know, in 1800, Finland was under Russian. So we have very strong brass band culture. In the beginning of 1900, we had very unique ensemble brass septet. There was uh, E flat cornet, two B flat cornet, alto horn, tenor horn, baritone horn, and E flat tuba. And all our best composers wrote music for, for those ensembles. Like uh, our national composer, Jean Sipelius, he wrote six pieces for them, for brass septet. Even though Finland may be small, it has a large band community and a large band culture, rooted strongly in the tradition of the military band. A big thank you to Robert from the Band Director Facebook page. He put the two of us into touch and got the communication going so I could interview Sammy. In my next video, I will be interviewing a band director from Japan, and I will be talking about the very vibrant, very rich scene of the Japanese world of wind band. As always, thanks for watching.